Okay. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You don't have shoes on. You don't have shoes on. All right. A E M H D G. Okay. That way, if there's a question about something, we can always go back. Right. Okay. So get this as close as we can. Right. Push down on the metal here, mm -hmm. and you can use the hand to pop. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, is he good? I don't think so. No. So, what do we have? Does he have a white here? stomach? Paramiscus, a white-footed mouse, right? Yeah. Yep. White-footed mouse. Mm -hmm. Oh, what does it have on its ear? Is it a tick? Oh my god, it's a bot. Alright, so we're going to get a weight. Okay, let's see. So it would be 34? 34. 34. 34. Yep. Paramiscus. This is just how I do it. SPP. Mm -hmm. We're going to leave a parenthesis because we are going to try and, and commit to what it is. What do we say in weight? Uh, three, 34. 34. 34. 34 grams. Okay. Let's write uh, bot. I think Whoa, I've never that is, seen that is a about. crazy bot, you guys. Two bots. Trap mortality, but it's because of the bots. Seven? Can you say seven? Yeah, that kind of looks like it. Seven on the body, so I write B for body. Eight. Eight. That is literally just crazy. There are teats here. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah. There's a, co oh, okay. a couple yeah. of teats yep. that are here, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a female close together. Oh, so right. Female. So we would say <coughs> female. So we would also subtract off the bag. It's good to do it over something white that can catch these if they fall. And it's definitely a two-person job. Mm -hmm. Do we record that? Yes. Right? This is how we were able is to. Is that J A eight or B? But this little divot is where your dot is supposed to go. Mm -hmm. See the dot on there? So it fits. That like makes that. sense, yeah. Oh, okay. Perfect fit, yeah. Okay. So Again, when you're in, like, the heat of the moment, you're anxious, and your hand right. tends to just, oops, I crimped it, pull yeah. it apart again. We have them in a conical tube. We're going to get some measurements. We think it is a, a mouse. Let's look at the tail bicoloration. Does it look white? It looks like there is a line. Mm -hmm. There's white underside. Yeah. But it's, it's not when a you distinct see, line. When you see a deer mouse, or when you see a distinct, it's clearly distinct. So I would still go white. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Down on that and flick with your. Yep. And then you can stand up and kind of shake it down in. Actually, open it a little bigger if you can. Oh. Pull that trap out. Oh, all right. okay. What do we got? Let's see. White Which bottom. Way? No distinct line on the tail for okay. color. Big eyes. By coloration on the body. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's get a weight on it. Weight is, oh, he's bouncing. 35. Okay, 35 grams. Yes. What we've been getting. Okay. okay. And now we'll get him into the little cone. And again, once it's in, don't, don't remove your hand from bag and cone. And I, I like to put him on the ground so he thinks he's actually going to a burrow. Sometimes they go right in. Oh, hang on to this because you can take off with him. There you go. All right. 
the hand on the butt. So it doesn't back out. Oh, that's the bag. Done. You gotta wait on that bag. Yeah. Hang on to that. Uh, you can look at the bicoloration again. It's totally squished. He's 7.2 squash. Okay. 8.9. So that's really good that that just happened. I'll tell you why. 8.9 body. Yeah. So some people do body length to tail length ratio as a way of calculating if it's if it's deer or white footed mouse. Oh. And you've just seen in action how that's really not a good indicator. In addition to the bicoloration on the tail not being a good indicator as well, because they could have peed, it could have rained, you know. So genetically is the best way. Um, nicking a little bit of tail tissue, which I used to do in the past, which is a little bit of the skin and, and hair at the tip of the tail. Yeah. And you just take a razor blade and just just nick it so that you get that little nubbin and save that in an epidorph and you can do PCR to, to distinguish between it. Okay, so that is eight and a half. Okay, so 8.5B for body, 7.3 for tail. Uh-huh, that's T, right? Yep, T for tail. T for tail. All right, gender. All right, so oftentimes I will pull back on the tail. I'll do this so you guys can see. So, see, that's perfect. Oh, yeah, so right. Close together. Oh, like, girl. Close girl. together, female. And oh, yeah. You can yeah. see her teats, too. Uh -huh. Okay. So, hang on. Hang right there. Female. This is tag number 100. Okay. The hole goes in this little yep, crevice hole in thing. the divot. The hole is where the divot is. Okay, so there's the divot. There's mm -hmm. the hole. 193. 193? Mm -hmm. 193. Okay. So the hole is where that divot is, so it'll be kind of angled up. All right, now, you are going to non-dominant hand grab the tail. So you are a lefty. A lefty, okay. Have him put it put this on your knee, okay? Pull pull back and kind of push this off and he's going to try and run down your leg. And do I hold him his yep, body with my left to, hand? No, just keep hanging on to the tail. We'll see what happens at that point. So he's going to be on your leg. Okay. Perfect. Now, Right in the back of the ears, just do a little grab of the fur. Yep, keep your ears exposed. Perfect, you can hold it. Yep, perfect. And just grab a little area. And you could use the other ear if it's better. That was textbook. What was our number? 193. 193, amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm sorry, amazing. That's okay. <laughs> they have, they have Ooh, encountered We did really well. A bit more. That you was pooped. fabulous. See if you can get the number on there up close. Ooh. You could vaguely. Beautiful. See that. Excellent job, guys. Be free. Here, mm -hmm. right? You're gonna maybe try and, and just at least not have your hand on the nose, right. Button, but right there, right? So now you're gonna kind of have a good grip. This person can pull it out pinch and the cinch the back real quick because this is a pain in the butt. Uh, but you could hold it like this. Mm -hmm. That then allows this person to get a better grip. Okay. You can now cinch this better. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then somebody's going to pull this back, determine what the animal is, um, and you should have access to an ear at that point. 35 grams minus. Um, 11 grams that was the bag. Um, we have our 8.5 body B, 7.3 T tail. It is a female because it was close together. The holes were close together. Mm -hmm. And we were able to get an, an ear tag on it, number 193 new.